One of the best ways to get rid of backgrounds is by blurring it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to blur your images from this to that. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So this is the particular picture that you'll be using for the day. And the first thing that I do most of the times is I go to unlock the background over here. So I double click on this to get a picture unlocked. Right. From here, what you need to do is to make a selection of the portion that you want to blur. That is, if you want to blur around this area only, from here to this side only, you just select it. And you can make use of so many great selection tools from the polygonal axo tool through to the pen tool over here as i have a background that is more busy i'm going to use the pen tool and i would have to skip some areas just to get this tutorial very fast and going because the main focus is not the selection the main focus is to how to blur it so i'm going to try to fast forward this area but then you would have to be very picky as to what you select because it is going to affect how the image is turning, would be turning around. That is to say that wherever that you select, it is going to get blurred. And wherever that you don't, it is not going to get blurred. So you have to be very careful about what you select and the edges, how you apply it, as it is going to affect the turnaround of the image. So you have to spend some quality time to make the selection more effective and more correct so i'll catch you when i'm done with the selection i would love to fast forward but then i would have to skip this part and get back to you when i'm done because the most important part is to know how to blur the background so enjoy so here we are after you're done with this when you get to this particular point all you need to do is go around here and then you come back to square one. So from here, you need to make some selections. So you right click and go to make selection. And then I'm using the feather radius at two. All right, so from here we go to filter and then we go to blur and then we're going to use tilt shift. Here you have to pay a very particular attention to this because let me zoom in so that you see things clearly. What we're going to do is that all the part that has been selected is going to get blurred and where it has not been selected is to it's not going to get blurred so you have to play around with the tilt shift that is the blurness over here you can also use something like the iris blur over here but then i prefer the tilt shift so this is how it is going to be like so the more you increase the blurness the more the background blurs and you see the parts that we did not blur or we did not select is not blurry so if you make it too much it is not going to look realistic and if you make it lesser it is pretty much less like you didn't do anything so I think I would have to play around between 15 and 20 so I'll go for let's say 19 would do or let me come back a little more 15 I think 15 would do because of her hair because it has to look a little bit realistic now you see that some parts didn't blur so we're going to zoom this out and drag this particular thing in the middle over here downwards so if you go like this this is what we're going to have this is the results and this blurness has increased so i'm bringing it back to 15. so you see that is what we have so if you drag it to zero that is the original image that you have over there and then if you drag it to 15 okay let me put it to 15 that is the blurness that we have over there so when you are done you just continue and click ok and you wait for it to filter over it is going to do the blur so we wait for it when it is done and that is it if you zoom in very carefully if you take a very critical look you're going to see that this is separating from the background but like i said in the 
earlier statements that this is not going to look like the one you took with your iPhone so don't be surprised so I'm going to add a little let's say saturation to it to make the background more pleasing and then you click OK so basically that is it that is how to blur your image so if you go back and this is how the original looked like and let me zoom in and go forward this is how the blurness look like so that is it i hope this video was helpful if it was don't forget to like and subscribe and then i'll bring you back more videos on photoshop thank you so much for watching my name is innocent and i'll get back to you with another one bye